Welcome to Football Night in Chicago, powered by PointsBet. I'm Ruthie Polinski, alongside Coach Dave Wanstead. We open tonight's show with some sad news to share. Bears legend Dick Butkus has passed away at the age of 80, peacefully in his sleep. Bears chairman George McCaskey released a statement just minutes ago, and it reads in part, Dick was the ultimate bear and one of the greatest players in NFL history. He was Chicago's son. He exuded what our great city is about, and not coincidentally, what George Hallis looked for in a player. Toughness, smarts, instincts, passion, and leadership. He refused to accept anything less than the best from himself or from his teammates. When we dedicated the George Hallis statue at our team headquarters, we asked Dick to speak at the ceremony because we knew he spoke for Papa Bear. We extend our condolences to Helen, Dick's high school sweetheart and wife of 60 years and their family. Coach Wanstead, thanks so much for being with us. Of course, you knew Dick very personally as a person and as a friend. What can you share about his life and legacy? Yeah, Ruthie, you know, sad news for obviously the family one and and for all Bears Nation, really. Uh, I think George said it perfectly there with his statement, but I, I had the opportunity when I was coaching here at the Bears that George was doing the radio, so he would always come down onto the field early before the games, and I would go out early, and we would talk about the plan. Here's what we're going to try to do, the offense, defense, special teams, what we got to do to win this game. And he loved talking the nuts and bolts of football. I mean, what it because he, he got it. He understood that. And uh, I look forward to those, uh, you know, those Sundays standing on the field with them home or away and, uh, and talking about the plan and, and uh, knowing and having a good conversation with them about them and, and obviously other things. But uh, it was a, a very meaningful time for me. Man, he loved those Bears, didn't he? He was at the, he was at the, uh, the home opener against Green Bay. I r- remember the tweet so well. You know, he said, give me some pads and a quarterback to hit. He loved the Chicago Bears. Yeah, anytime there was a function, uh, up, up to the first game of the season against Green Bay. And, you know, all through my time and before that, he, uh, if it was a meaningful function for the Bears and Mrs. McCaskey needed him here, and the McCaskey family needed him, uh, he was there and he would show up. And it wasn't just a guy that showed up and with his personality. I mean, he showed up in a very meaningful way and, and represented the Bears just the way that I think George Howis would have wanted him to. How about on the field, Coach? I mean, all the Mm. nicknames, you know, the enforcer, one of the greatest linebackers of all time. What impact did he have on the NFL and the game of football? You know, I'm not sure, but, you know, I I, got to research this because our division, right, Green Bay, Minnesota, uh, Detroit, Chicago, it's known and has been known for years as the black and blue division of the National Football League. I would be willing to bet it was named that after Dick Butkus, the way he played, with his toughness and you know just his reckless abandon to getting to the ball, uh, so I got to research that. But when I think of Dick and I think of the Bears and I think of our, I say black and blue division. First name that comes to thought, Dick Butkus.